Hi guys, so today I want to show you how to hook up a uh, Atari 2600. Now, some people might say it's easy, some people might say it's hard. I just want to show it to some people who might not know. So, this is for if you have like one of these types of Atari, like heavy Sixers, any Atari that looks like this. Uh, by the way, with the 7800, which I don't have, but I just know this, um, this coax cord isn't built in to the console like it is with the Atari. It actually, you need to plug, um, like a sort of AV cable in, and then you have to get a switch box. But I say, hell no to switch boxes. And just get one of these from Radio Shack or Amazon or whatever. They sell them for like two bucks. And it's better either way. It's better either way. Because you can't plug this directly into a TV. So you can just look for these on Amazon. Uh, you can put... Um, I don't know. Um, I don't know, Atari 2600 coaxial connector, but you can connect that there. And if you have the switch box, it's the same thing, but you, but it's almost the same thing, but, uh, it's a switch box. So. But if you have a switch box, you plug it into the switch box. Um, then you, if it's, then you switch it to game. Then you connect that to the TV, VCR, or whatever you want it to be on. Um, and then, you know, you can turn on your Atari and stuff. So, let's get our Atari. And so, if you look on the back, you might see this headphone jack looking thing. thing. It's, that's for the power. As you can see here, it says power. So, you, uh, see, wait, let me get this kit over here. By the way, it's a long cable. So, you get one of these cables. Just make sure you don't get a cable for the Atari 7800 Pro system because it won't work on the Atari 2600 or Atari 2600 or 7800. So what you do here is put it in. And then you get this, this cable switch box or thing from Radio Shack. Uh, I'm going to the back of my VCR to connect it because my TV uh, coaxial is broken so I can't plug this directly into my TV. I have to use my VCR. So, so I have to, uh, by the way, with the switch boxes, there might be like these weird picture things, which if you have like a TV from like 1983 or something, you can screw it onto the back. This. These, these coaxial cables are pain. Like, you don't know which really, you don't really know which direction of them are. So now you can power on your system and it turns on. Now you get um now you get a controller, as you can see. Uh if you want to play by yourself, you plug it into the left controller slot. And 
then you put in the game like I don't know what. Oh, oh. Frogger. And by the way, if you're going to get an Atari 2600, or you just bought one and you're waiting it for coming into the mail or whatever, no. You might want to get controller extenders because the Atari 2600 controllers are not that long. Like, they're only like, 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 when we back up, they're only this long. Like, look. Like, right now, if I put my Atari 2600 on this shelf and I try to play it through where the chair is, it would barely be reaching. So you might want to get, by the way, and so you might want to choose a Sega Genesis controller if you have one because they're the exact same thing here. And you might want to get controller extenders. If you are using a Sega Genesis controller, the red button here translates to be on the controller. So, yeah. Okay. Let's put in Frogger Classic. Why is it unplugged? By the way, everything that's backwards is because uh, I I switched the thing. Or whatever it's called. What is it called? I switched the uh, side so it's recording from the front and makes everything look backwards. So if you turn on your system with this. Oh, no, this here is isn't one. To the right thing. Okay, I have no idea what's going on. Game reset. Oh, my controller isn't even plugged in. For some reason, I don't know why. Didn't you guys see me plug in? I don't know, I might be tricky. But, anyways. Well, that's the time to run me out because I was looking for the controller. But. That's how you hook up uh, an Atari 2600. Bye.